Well, there's nothing like a good night's sleep, but for people with obstructive sleep apnea, decent shut eye is hard to get. They often snore and repeatedly stop breathing during the night. Now, this not only causes daytime sleepiness, but also other health issues. More on the risk of sleep apnea and what you can do about it from Mayo Clinic. Hello. See you later. You too, Sarah. Nope, that sounds good. As an elementary school principal, Todd Kiefer <laughs> runs at top speed most of the day. All right. But that wasn't so easy when he struggled with symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea. See you later, Edie. See ya. <laughs> I was extremely tired during the day. I didn't feel like I had the stamina to keep going, keep going, keep going. Todd hadn't had a decent night's sleep in years. Well, I knew I had a problem because my entire family couldn't sleep. Loud snoring, then he'd stop breathing. And then I actually a snort that would kind of all of a sudden I'd wake up. Obstructive sleep apnea can deprive you of sound sleep and make you tired during the day. It can also cause serious health issues. I can't help but think that's going to have some kind of impact on your health down the road. Usually what we talk about cardiovascular disease uh, as the major problem. If you have Severe untreated sleep apnea, your risk of dying from heart attack and stroke is uh, quite a bit higher than the, the normal population. Sleep specialist Dr. Joseph Kaplan says obstructive sleep apnea may also aggravate diabetes and it may contribute to mental slowing and memory difficulties. Plus, the associated daytime sleepiness increases the likelihood of motor vehicle accidents from driving drowsy. So what do you do if you think you have it? A sleep study during which you go in for overnight monitoring can help your doctor confirm the diagnosis. He said, you actually stopped breathing 70 times every hour. No wonder Todd was always tired. You see, snoring happens when the back of your tongue and throat relax and restrict airflow. If you have obstructive sleep apnea, your throat relaxes to the point where it blocks breathing. A CPAP machine is a device you wear over your nose. It provides air pressure while you breathe, which keeps the back of your throat open. The device made a huge difference in Todd's life. Because I know that in the morning, I'm going to be so much more alert. More productive, <laughs> healthier, and better able to keep up with the kids. Todd says his dad also had sleep apnea. Research shows it may run in families. The condition is also associated with obesity. And again, Dr. Kaplan says if you think you might have sleep apnea, see your doctor. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.